Rise and shine. <sighs> Good morning. It's 11 a.m. Though. That's more morning for me on the weekends or any other day. How's everything outside? Still noisy, but forces have been deployed to take care of most of them at least. How so? Zybox's corpse presidents is pleading with anyone to stop the rogue white knights. Neighboring city forces were deployed quickly to have subdued most of them, the most of the opposition. There's also been reports of white knights just freezing, like they're petrified somehow. You make it sound like some god suddenly decided to put everything in place. Well, I'm just glad no bullets are flying in and out of the whole building. Sure, there's still some bad apples out, out, and it's really not safe yet, but it's, but it was worse last night. There also seems to be civilian force lynching any white knights they spot. So, not only are the white knights a problem, regular folks are on edge too. I wonder if Sai is okay. Should we be worried about Gil? That kid knows how to take care of himself. Damn. I'm sure that whatever it... Uh, it's sure that whatever it is that he's doing, he's safe. Dare I say he's even safer where he is than here. My bitrate just tanked. Stupid thing. I waited, don't worry. Oh, yes, I, I know that I had dropped frames. I realized that. OBS, holy jeez, calm yo damn. Uh, I know, and I don't know how to fix it! Are we gonna work today? Nah, things are too nasty right now. Let's take the Sunday off. Oh, all right. Say, do you want me to help you get to your apartment? Actually, yeah, I'd appreciate that. Okay then, let me lock things up and we'll go. We'll grab something for lunch on the way. Sounds good. And here we are. Home sweet home, thanks a lot. Hey boss, wanna hang out for a bit? Huh? Yeah, grab a beer, chill out for a bit. Mostly to thank you for helping me. Well, I don't have much to do anyway, so yeah, sure. I did tell you you should invite me to your apartment sometime, didn't you? Oh yeah, you did. What worries me a bit is that beer leads that beer always leads to something else. To more beer? I was gonna say to one of us getting through the Spanish announcer's ta table. But I think we're safe here. Come on in then. Excuse me. Want one? Sorry, I don't smoke. Don't mind me. Me though. Smoke if you wanna. Thanks. Say, how is the chilly weather treating you? It, it, it gets cold from time to time, but nothing the Kotatsu and the heater can't fix. Oh right, boss. You're not very good with the cold, are you? You know it. You didn't bring your jacket with you either. Yeah, I left it at home when I was going to the bar yesterday. It wasn't that cold, and I didn't expect to spend the night at the bar. Would you like a sweater or something? Oh, don't mind me. I insist. I have a hoodie from this time ago, and it's too big for me. Why buy it, then? It was dirt cheap. Right. Wait, where did you get this one? Dunno, some flea market ages ago. Why? Nothing, it just looks like one of the- I had one from many years ago. What happened to it? Too much use, it just ripped. I see. You can keep it if you want. I never use it anyway. Uh, we'll see. Come to think of it, how old are you, boss? I'm l eternally 17. Fair enough. 17 plus how much? 17 plus, I'd have to cut your tongue if you knew. Alright. And then get to change into something more comfortable. Take your time. 
<laughs> cat. The cat is not impressed. Say, Jill, there's a blue-eyed mass of black fur glaring in my general direction. Huh? Oh, that's just four. He's just wary of any new visitors. Cats will be cats, I guess. He'll warm to you quickly, though. Just give him time. He's unusual looking. Blue eye cats are on a black blue eyes on a black cat. They usually have green. Yeah, weird, huh? At first I thought they were like that because he was small, but they never changed. Do you have any pets, boss? Back at home, we had a bear. I see what? Good old Bosco. Well, he kept intruders away better than any dog. Right. Well, yeah, this picture here. Um, isn't something you see every day. What, me taking such a sappy picture? No, the frame picture on the printed paper. It's so vintage. Who are these? That's, um... The one on the right is Lenore, my ex-girlfriend. And the one on the left is Gabrielle, her sister. Huh, is this pic recent, or...? Actually, that's one for three or four years ago. You look exactly the same. I'm only 27. What did you expect? That's why they say kids are the ones that get old. I thought it was recent because you don't uh, usually see people displaying pics of their exes so openly. Let alone printed and framed ones. Did you two break up on good terms then? You even hesitated when a bit when calling her your ex. Let's just say that everything ended with both of us saying mean things. And me storming off, uh, me storming out of her house, bringing a couple things along the way. We never broke up formally, and I guess I still have feelings for her. I just went away. Never said a word since. And it's tanking again. Really? It's hard to picture do uh, you doing something like that. You look so happy in the pic. Why have her pick out like this then? I just couldn't get my mind off of something that Alma said to me. About missing, having the warmth of someone else pressed up against your side. Using them as a pillow, mixing your pure food with theirs. Putting your head on their chest, listening to their breathing as they pet your head. Dozing off, knowing that they're there watching you and protecting you. I don't know, I felt nostalgic, then miserable. I'll just put this away. Hmm, I have not meaning to apologize, but I feel like it's too late now. Whenever I go out, there's this fear in the back of my head that I'll meet her in the street. I just don't know if I could face her again, let alone talk to her. I'd just be a mess. Never too late to apologize, Jill. Maybe. Huh, oh, what's that on the table? Huh? Looks like an env- It's nothing, nothing now! Please give that to me! Okay. I saw nothing, don't worry. Mm -mm. Okay, also said that there's other Twitch streamers who are buffering ones that you did the- Oh, okay. Well... It could be then, I don't know. It's just weird that it usually happens on Thursdays and only happens with this game. Tanking again. Anyway, let's grab some beers. Guide me. Damn, you have a lot of beer. Well, the BTC gives me discounts and a point card where I can use every time I buy alcohol. Beer so far, cans left uh, remaining beer. Drink. I'm gonna need to drink, ma'am. <laughs> ah, yeah, I'm gonna be drinking. With that, with that, uh, beer is actually the cheapest drink I can get. Is there any difference between the drinks at the bar and these? The drinks at the bar are more addictive, flavorful, and also stronger than the ones they sell in stores. And besides, the one in, uh, the one at the bar is more of a double IPA. This is more of a pin, uh, pinsner. In English, please. This one's lighter in color and lighter in flavor. Dunno, it tastes like- it doesn't taste lighter to me. Drink. <laughs> is this one made with that, uh... What, it, what was the name of the base liquid you use in the bar again? 
um, nitrogen um, dichometrical uh, lidogenal or LD, um, LD, NDL. It was a supplement or something, right? It was an experimental fluid they used to create to replace water when Maiden Kiss populated the water supply. The effects of pollution turned out to be temporary, so NDL never went into mass production. And the BTC still commissioned it to be used for bars. Oh, I, I skipped that, oops. Let's see, yep, it was near the end, NDL and cornstarch. Cornstarch? It serves as a stabilizer, and if I remember correctly, they need it for packaged drinks. I see, I just realized something. What? You're a nerd, Jill. Guilty as charged. I still have that bottle of rum, so that's rum somewhere. Do you want some of it? Will you have some too? Not really, no. Then leave it like that. I'm not letting you drink beer alone. That's not how drinking with friends works. Do you consider me a friend then, boss? Why wouldn't I? I don't know, with that being my boss and all, I never was too sure. Oh, in that case, I had doubts. Yes, I consider you one of my best friends. Besides, you and Gil are always so diligent and responsible that I'm, I'm boss in name only anyway. That's good to know. On a side note, it surprises me that you kept that poster of me in your room. And even more that you hung it in plain sight. When I gave it to you, it was more or less a joke, you know? Does it make you feel uncomfortable? If it doesn't make you uncomfortable, then why make me uncomfortable? It's my own face. I'm still wondering why you did it, though. Aside from feeling an empty spot on the wall, I really don't know. I thought it was funny, too. I guess it's like if someone gave me... gave you... I don't know... A dildo saved trophy or something that you had had in there as a conversation starter? Although no one comes here anyway, so it's kind of pointless. What? No steamy nights of passion? Not since one year ago, I think. I'd rather not talk about what happened then. Did someone hurt you? Because if they did, I can go dish out the pain. No, nothing of the sort. A different kind of mess. Uncomfortable mess. Not being able to have- uh, uncomfortable mess. A not being able to have sex for reasons mess. Glad to know you have my back, though. Drink. That's what friends are for. Wait, you talk about the poster and compare it to having a dildo-shaped trophy? Did you just call me a dildo face? That's what friends are for. Hey, boss, be honest with me here. About what? Who's Gil exactly? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Who the fuck is he? Oh yeah, that. Well, I have a couple of ideas. I know for certain that Gil was a Hong was in the Hong Kong riots, and he took part in the anti-riot force at before defecting. That should give me a clue as to who he is. But, but drink. So far, I've only found out of one such defector, and he hadn't left Hong Kong for at least four years. I also know for certain that Gil was in England and France during that time frame. And it's always like that. When I think I have a clue as to who he is, something else comes up that contradicts the evidence. That guy's troublesome. Drink. A bit. Yeah. A bit right. <laughs> I wonder if Gil's alright. You worried about him? You make it sound like I'm some emotionless robot. You can be hard to read sometimes. I wouldn't worry about Gil. I wouldn't worry about Gil so much though. There are three things I know for certain about him. First, he can take care of himself. Drink. Second, he is sincerely. Tr I can sincerely trust him. And third, he absolutely hates bell pepper. He does. I've seen him even reject food that has been in contact with him. Man, what a baby. Unless he's allergic or something. He's not. Drink. Man, what a baby. <laughs> How did you meet such a guy? He showed up at the door of the bar. He what? Well, it was shortly after the whole incident with Robert and the levitation potion. Right. 
Levitation potion. It was a slow day and he just showed up at the bar. I offered him a drink and he said he didn't have the money on him. Drink. After a couple, he broke down crying. He... what? I don't know what he did, but he really was really regretting it. He wanted a second chance at whatever, and I told him he could wash himself... Wash himself, I'd find him a job. And I'll be damned, he looked totally different the next day. Damn. Open. I tried and failed to find out anything about him. So I decided to take him at face value. I judge him from what he did as an employee. And aside from the occasional sudden escapade, he's been as loyal as loyal gets. I'd return the favor in kind, covering his ass from time to time. Literally sometimes. What surprises me is you took him in so easily. I could take care of myself, and I always kept an eye on him. And besides, after the whole Robert thing, I couldn't ignore someone so desperate so easily. And there it goes again. I see. How so? Oh, the Dana was saying that you've made the bar more lively. Sorry, drink. Well, with the regulars you've earned, earned of course. Like that blonde titty hacker? I can't remember her name. Alma? Yeah, I was gonna say... Arma Armitage. She's a nice girl, you know. I don't think she's young enough to be called a girl. Says the girl who's eternally 17. In any case, she's really lovely. When you hear her speak about her family, she speaks with such love. Her face just brightens up. And my bitrate is tanked again. There we go. I'm back now. This is getting stupid. I hate this. I, I can't do anything about it. Ugh. You have bad relations with your family? Not bad. Not really close to anyone either. Except for my mom, my dad, my aunt. Back to Alma. I was really hoping she'd find a nice guy to settle with. I mean, she's so bent on finding one. I can't help but want her to succeed. Oh, I see. Drink. You know what? Drink more beer. There's also that sex worker robot girl. Ah, uh, Dorothy. She intrigues me, though. I've seen a lot of sex workers. <laughs>